like almost second nature. All this other stuff, the, the inventory, the attendance taking, the filling up the buses, you know, all that bus schedule, I find that difficult. I want to say thank you to Coach Burns for being that, the, the, like the backbone, being the man behind the scenes for everything. That's awesome. Please give a hand for everyone. Thank you. And we also have, on this uh, Frontier Awards, it says Kyle Richardson, misspelled. Kyle Anderson, okay? He is a, he's a great coach. He was a, uh, a volunteer last year, and we got him an actual position here this year. And I want to say thank you, Kyle, for coming out and, and helping us. Now, it takes a coach to commit, to commit and make a great culture in a program. And I've been coaching since, well, I've been coaching a long time. And um, I have seen some programs develop a culture and consistency. And you gotta give hands up to Coach Nunez. Give it up. Great culture, great culture, great discipline. Yeah. Okay, I'm not really one for standing in front of a bunch of people and talking. Um, but let's just go ahead and get on with some of these awards right now. I want to say, uh, I'm just going to start naming them off and say a little something about him. Christian Cranley, come on up. Right here. Right here. Nick Fletcher, come on up. Right here. Not here. Cody Hart, not here. Jason Jenner John, not here. Jason Jodry. I probably got that last name wrong. Jason's one that's always in a, always, I'd like to say he's a, he's a smooth talker. He's always coming to practice, just, just being a, a real good athlete, being coming in and just uh, training good, training nice and hard. Sam Colby. Hey, Sam. This gentleman is a pleasure to have. Last year, his very last match of the season, he went kicking and screaming, almost throwing his headgear, and I, uh, I pulled him aside, I said, hey man, if we win, we win the exact same way we lose, okay? And if you lose, we, we, it's the exact same way we win. Joe Meyer, come on up. Oh. I'm glad this year he didn't lose any matches, so we didn't have to see any of his uh, for lack of a better word, tantrums. <laughs> but, uh, thank you very much, Joe. Clark Mortensen, come on up. Joe. Hey. Clark Mortensen, he has come out wrestling. He, he has a tough weight class, but yet every single time he came out, he competed. Every time things weren't going his way, he still competed, and that's one thing I really like about Clark Mortensen. Thank you. Ayo Olsen, come on up. Not here. Jose Ponce. Definitely one of the future wrestlers that I can't wait to have back next year. Always out there working hard. Drake Roberts. Come on down. Jose. Drake, he was one of our, our smaller guys. He was always in there wrestling, always competing also. Jonathan Scott Mendoza. He's not here. He's not here. Jacob Sloan. Herb. He was another that's always, always a pleasure to watch the wrestle. He always went out there competed. Even things didn't go his way, he was still out there a competitor. Patrick Perkins, come on up. I'm definitely going to miss Patrick Kirk next year. He finished second at the district tournament. Had a heck of a season. It's always good, you know, watching him wrestle in the wrestling room also. I appreciate everything he does. Another one I'm going to miss, Brandon Phillips. Come on down. He also placed second at the uh, district tournament. He tied it up in the final, final minutes and uh, then he uh, Went into overtime, it didn't come out exactly right, but he did awesome. 
And this kid right here is Bruno Ponce. Come on down. We have a really tough core of middleweight to really lightweight wrestlers. And Birdo, I asked a lot of him, okay? He, we had him wrestling at 175 pounds when you weigh in what? What do you naturally weigh? 155, 155 pounds. So that's asking a lot from him. But yet he didn't say, coach, I don't want to do it. He said, okay, coach, I'll do it. He stepped up. Even he went out there and battled some big kids. Thank you. Uh, Jacob Sackerson. Jacob Sackerson, I, boy, I, I love watching him wrestle. I just wish he moved his feet just a little bit more out there on the mat. But he did awesome. Thank you, Jacob. Juan Saunders, the way to get him going is you say, fold him like a taco. And that's exactly what he did. <laughs> oh, Jake. Jack. <laughs> Okay, Tristan Hughes, come on down. Tristan is an eighth grader, his first back of the year out wrestling. And at the seating meeting, a seating meeting is when we go and we tell our, you know, all the other coaches who our best wrestler is and who we feel should be have the number one seat, number two seat. At 145 pounds, we had Tristan and we had Chris Berry, both with varsity records, both weighing in at 145 pounds and both with zero losses. And I had to go in there and, and argue and say, no, they both have varsity records, they both need to be seated good. But Tristan has been a, a great asset to this team. Kelton Weber. <laughs> Kelton Weber, he came out and competed. He wanted a challenge every single day. And I gave, I gave a lot of these athletes the opportunity to challenge. I just want to say thank you and can't wait to see you again. Hezekiah Willard. Oh yeah. Hezekiah Willard, I have to say that this kid, he came to practice every day. He had, he's, a, he's an athlete, first of all, okay? And when he could come out to wrestle, I just wish that he would focus just a little bit more in all he does because he wanted to try to learn everything the day before the district tournament instead of trying to learn throughout the season. <laughs> Chase Wilson, this guy, this guy is a real inspiration to me. Last year, he, not the greatest wrestler, but this year he really turned it around. He did, he did awesome. What did he finish with, a 5-2 record? A 5-2 record, awesome. Tristan Youngdale. This kid is definitely a character. <laughs> At the district tournament, he had three matches won, probably within like 30 seconds. He was down a ton of points. And then his, his, his will to fight just kept on wrestling, 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 and sticking him, pinning him within like five, 10 seconds of the match left. Ryan Snedeker. Ryan Taylor, this guy, if anyone on this team could bring a tear to my eye, it would be this kid right here. Great inspiration. He's awesome. <laughs> One thing I want to say about him, he come into practice in his jeans, his school shirt, his headgear, his glasses, and his wrestling shoes. Day after day, I'd have to say, you got to go in there and don't come out until you have shorts and a shirt on. Love coaching you. <laughs> Philip Mabletop. Good work. Phillip's another one of our undefeated wrestlers. He played, he's one of our district champions. Very close in that district championship final. He almost got knocked out. That guy had the death grip on his neck. <laughs> nice job. Uh, Steven Temple. Caden <laughs> <Right> Tyndall. He goes out there and he's always ready to wrestle. There's a few times with, with a lot of our wrestlers that they go out there and they think they have the match wrapped up and then that makes the match so much harder for that wrestler. Where Caden shouldn't be, shouldn't be struggling with the kid, but he, he, just, he just needs to get his mindset right when he goes out there and wrestles. He has to think every single match is gonna be a tough match and he, he needs to push himself. Uh, Chris Berry, come on down. 
Chris Berry it was uh, our other 145 pounder with a unblemished record during league. And he was one that I had to fight for to get him a, a, a very good seat. But you guys cannot let me down like you guys did this year, man. I fought for you for first and second seat. <laughs> and you guys dropped the very first match. No, it wasn't. You guys, but yet they came through Seconds. with like third and fourth. They, they made it all the way through the consolation round. Noah Cole. Austin Crowder. Definitely trying to learn more things in the wrestling room. Justin Davis. Andrew Kidd. Come on, Dale. Definitely an inspiration. He was he's an eighth grader. I believe this was his first year wrestling, and he was able to come out third in the district tournament. He was another one that I asked him to uh, go up a few weight classes. He wrestled, he walked around or wrestled at 195, but a lot of the times having him wrestling at heavyweight or unlimited. John Drew. Tyler Kearns. Mr. Head and Arm. Except at the district tournament, which I thank you very much. Definitely a definitely a, a competitor. Definitely wrestling in his blood. Taylor Odom. I always get his last name wrong, but Caleb. Please, come on down. He's another one that I asked a lot of. I always had him jumping up a uh, weight class, but he was like, just like a pound or two over the weight limit. But you did awesome. Thank you. Sam Collier. He's definitely... Let's go, Tiger! Sam Collier is one of those wrestlers that he, you look at him, you ever see him in the wrestling room, he's working. He's doing exactly what I asked him to do without having to say anything to him. He was, he's one of those unsaid leaders, like you. That's, that's a perfect example of a, what I am looking for in a leader. Not one that's usually screaming at the top of their lungs, you guys need to keep it down. You know, he's just, he leads by example. I love that. Scotty Bonner. Definitely one I can't wait to have back next year with, with a lot more wrestling experience, man. 